So tell me how this project got started. Did you have a, a filmmaking background prior to med school? Uh, just filmmaking dreams. Uh, no, no formal training. Um, I had hoped to ultimately combine uh, these two incredible worlds. Um, uh, you would acknowledge that that medicine certainly gives you this incredible spectrum of the of human drama, um, and uh, certainly what a what a remarkable place to learn to be a storyteller. Uh, I didn't know how that would happen or when, and I think I anticipated it would be well after my training time. But I think when I came across uh, the old sea booth in the old county hospital, um, it was immediately clear to me that there was this single space that in many ways was a uh, was a film. Uh, there was this uh, cadence to it that every few minutes there was this new aspect of human drama. And um, there it was in 16-9 ratio in its physical self right there. And as you can see, there was certainly no lack of characters as well. And I think I knew, all right, if there's ever a time in my life where a film is going to look me in the face, it's now. So you basically, you had a camera from your first year and, and was, you were documenting activity in the, in the C booth. And, and then you, you had enough for an assembly and you, and you took it to Mark here to, and showed it to him. So Mark, tell me, you know, when you looked at the assembly, um, what did you, where did you see the potential that this could be a, f a feature length documentary? Uh, well, Ryan called me and said he had a film and would I come and take a look at it? And uh, I met Ryan and Dr. Ed Newton and uh, Billy Mallon and they, before they showed me the film, they took me around to show me Seabooth and uh, to make and, and to sort of prep me. And then they showed me the 20 minutes. It was a 20 minute assembly, uh, I think, and asked if I thought there was a film there. And you know, some of the footage that you see in the film, especially the you know the uh, chest uh, operation, was immediately you know very compelling. Uh, I thought that there was. I thought they had part of the film that they would need to shoot more, but certainly this was material that I'd never seen before. And it, it, it certainly not shot as, in as visceral a way. And so I thought there was something here. And I was impressed with Ryan, and Ryan said, I can get the money to do this. And I'm always impressed with filmmakers <laughs> who say they can get the money. <laughs> so I signed on. And so what was your role as executive producer? What, uh, did you help assemble the team and uh, yes. identify DP and sound? And well, no, I, I helped bring Linda aboard. Mm -hmm. uh, and Linda assembled the team. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes, that, yes, I did that. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, uh, Ryan had done an amazing thing of getting permission at all to shoot in Seabooth. And he did something, uh, one of the many audacious things that he did is that he shot all of that footage himself on a RED, which is a ginormous camera, which had never been used for a documentary before. And uh, my favorite thing is that he actually made his own rig out of the stuff that you use to, you know, if you have a broken arm, to splint, you know, to splint your arm. So he was truly Ortho being glass, a filmmaker, yeah. a filmmaker and a doctor at the same time.